Welcome to Jam with Dr. Terry, where Jam stands for Jesus and me. I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Now, children, I have a question for you. Can we see the wind? No, we don't see the wind, but we do know that it exists because we can see its effects as the trees bend and sway or hair blowing wildly. In today's lesson in our series, God Speaks, we will learn about how God spoke to Elijah. God spoke to Elijah, but not in a way that you would think. In our Bibles, in the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, verses 11 through 13, it tells us about how God spoke to Elijah. Elijah was a prophet, a man who was chosen by God to tell the people God's messages. Elijah ran away from people that he was trying to help, and he was hiding because an evil queen didn't like it when Elijah gave the people God's messages. He was hiding in a cave and trying to figure out what God wanted him to do next. So God sent a strong windstorm. He sent an earthquake. And there was also a great fire. Elijah thought that he would hear God's voice in the windstorm or in the earthquake or in the fire, but he didn't. Can you guess how God finally spoke to Elijah? God spoke to him in a gentle whisper. God told him what he should do and what he should say to the people and he promised that he would protect him from the evil queen. So Elijah did what God said and went back to the people and gave them God's message. Children, we may think that we will hear God's voice in a booming loud way and feel disappointed when we don't hear him the way we think we'll hear him. God loves us and provides for us, and he sometimes speaks to us in strange ways, in unexpected ways. He might speak to us through quiet whispers, like he spoke to Elijah, or he may speak to us through other people or in some other way. How can we hear God speaking to us? How can we tell if he is near? God is always there, and sometimes in unexpected and mysterious ways. God may get our attention in big ways, or he may speak when we're simply reading our Bibles, or taking a walk, or sitting quietly with no distractions around. He may also speak when we hear a teacher or a pastor teaching us something and we just feel it in our hearts and know that he's speaking to us and telling us what he wants us to do. So remember, listen for the different ways that God may be speaking to you and do what he says to do. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.